सोलार पावर्ड ब्लैक स्मिथ ब्लोवर मशीन इंस्टॉलेशन सेलको ऑफिस इन सुलिया रिसीव एन इंक्वायरी फ्रॉम अ ब्लैक स्मिथ फॉर अ सोलार पावर्ड ब्लैक स्मिथ ब्लोवर सिस्टम the sales executive visits the blacksmith introduces himself and explains about the solar powered blacksmith blower he does the site survey along with the blacksmith to find a shadow free location for placing the panel and also a dry and ventilated place to keep the batteries and checks the wiring layout he fills the order acknowledgement form and takes the signature of the blacksmith confirming the order and thanks him and leaves sales executive arrives at the branch office and briefs the branch manager about the requirement of the blacksmith and submits the order acknowledgement form branch manager gives the order acknowledgement form to the office administrator and briefs him to generate the inter branch memo the office administrator raises the interbranch memo and goods receipt note and generates a delivery chalan which includes the material list and tax and service invoice he checks the material received from the godown as per the delivery chalan he calls the blacksmith and confirms the availability date and time for installation he gets the signature of the branch manager on the delivery chalan branch manager briefs the technician about the order and asks him to get the material ready technician takes the delivery chalan warranty card installation completion certificate annual maintenance contract and user manual with branch seal he goes to the branch go down and collects all components listed in the delivery chalan he packs the safety kit and tools required for the installation and loads the components carefully in the pickup truck the technician and his assistant travel to the site location he unloads the material with the help of the assistant and carries it inside the shop technician reads the blacksmith and takes the signature of the end user on the delivery chalan confirming the delivery of materials solar powered blacksmith blower system components panel 12 volt 40 watt luminary 5 watt charge regulator 12 volt 10 ampere blower 15 watt 12 volt battery 12 volt 20 ampere power the technician prepares for installation he wears the safety shoes jacket gloves and the helmet enter the serial number of the panel and battery for warranty fix the module mounting structure to the panel using nuts bolts and screws with the help of spanners After fixing the panel to the module mounting structure, start the wiring of the solar panel. Strip the wires using a wire stripper and connect the lugs using a wire crimper. and then connect it to the pv junction box red wire positive black wire negative use of cable lugs allows in easy installation repair and maintenance of electrical devices or cables with the help of drilling machine make a hole on the sheet for inserting the gi pipe in order to fix the panel pull out the pvc pipe from inside 
and attach it to the GI pipe using zip tags. Fix the panel to the GI pipe. Pass the positive and negative wires from the panel through the PVC pipe. Check the direction using a compass and adjust the panel facing south direction with appropriate inclination as per the region of maximum radiation. Fix the module mounting structure by applying cement and sand mixture at its base. After fixing the panel, start the wiring inside the shop. For wiring, use PVC pipes, PVC conduit clamps, elbow joint and T-joint. Now, to connect the battery, strip the insulator of the wire using a wire stripper and connect the lugs using wire crimper. Wind the wire on the rod for flexibility. Scratch off the metal part of the terminal for better connectivity. Apply petroleum jelly on the terminal to avoid rusting. After that, connect the wires to the terminal using a spanner. Red wire to the positive and black wire to the negative terminal. Remove the battery cap and fix the floats on the battery in order to check the water level. If the indicator is below the red line, the battery needs to be serviced. Now, to connect the charge regulator, keep the charge regulator on the wooden box and mark the place to drill holes for wires. Using a drilling machine, drill six holes to connect the positive and negative wires from the solar panel, battery, and load. Fix the charge regulator on the wooden box. Cut the wooden box on the side so that the wire and PVC pipe can be passed through. Pass the wires from the panel, battery, and load through the drilled holes of the wooden box. Mount the wooden box on the wall and fix the charge regulator to the wooden box. Strip the wire using a wire stripper and attach the lugs using a wire crimper. First, connect the battery wire to the charge regulator. Then, connect the load wire to the charge regulator. And finally, connect the panel wire to the charge regulator. Since the roof structure is made of iron rods and sheets, it cannot be drilled to fix the LED tube holder. So, zip tags are used to fix the luminary. Connect the speed regulator in series with the blower and switch using a wire connector. Take the speed regulator and switch wires through the PVC pipe and conduit clamp to connect it to the blower. Now, Fix the DC blower in place of the old manual blower. The technician explains the working of the system, the indicators on the charge regulator, and the do's and don'ts, its maintenance and safety measures to be taken while using the blower. The technician takes the signature of the blacksmith on the installation completion statement and warranty card and hands over the warranty card, thanks him and leaves. The blacksmith switches on the luminaries to verify the completion of the installation. Generally, blacksmiths depend on manual methods of igniting and blowing to keep the furnace running, which involves extreme rigidity and long working hours. 
Now, the old system is replaced with an efficient, cost-effective, high-quality, powerful DC blower with a controller which eases the work of the blacksmith. Thank you.